क्लास ट्वेल्व लेट एस कंटिन्यू द चैप्टर ओनली वन सम लेफ्ट एंड आफ्टर दैट आई विल जस्ट मेक क्लियर ऑफ वन कंसेप्शन रिगार्डिंग एंटी लॉ लेट मी कंट लेट मी कंप्लीट द चैप्टर फर्स्ट नाउ सम नंबर थर्टी सिक्स ओके नाउ इंटीग्रल एक्स साइन एक्स साइन टू एक्स डी एक्स ओके सो इंटीग्रल एक्स साइन एक्स साइन एक साइन टू एक्स डी एक्स साइन टू एक्स वी नो टू साइन एक्स कॉस एक्स सो वी कैन राइट दिस एज टू इंटीग्रल एक्स साइन स्क्वेर एक्स कॉस एक्स डी एक्स ओके नाउ लेट एस पोट साइन एक्स इज इक्वल टू सेट देन डी डी एक्स और साइन एक्स इज कॉस एक्स वी नो सो इट इज कमिंग कॉस एक्स डी एक्स इज इक्वल Okay, so it is coming. Therefore, i is equal to two integral. Uh, it is coming x na. X is there. X sine square x. Ah, uh, sine square x means what? Sine square x means z square. And x cos x. Uh, x is will be sine inverse z. So it is coming z square sine inverse z and cos x dx equals to. Cos x dx is dz. So what we write for? We uh, will write here z square sine inverse z dz. Z square sine inverse z dz. So one is inverse function, another is algebraic function. So I let according to the I let rule, we will take inverse function as u function. So two then inverse sine inverse z integral z square dz. Minus integral d d z of sine inverse z into integral z square d z done. So two. Sin inverse z in z square integral z square d z z cube by three. So right here z cube by three sin inverse z minus integral d d z of sin inverse z is one by square root of one minus z square. So it is coming one by square root of one minus z square into integral z square again z cube by three. So right here z cube by three d z. Now two. Uh, z cube by three means uh, we can write this as z we have taken as sine x so sine cube x and sine inverse sine x means sine inverse uh, sine x then instead of z sine x sine inverse sine x is again x so what will we get here it will be x sine cube x by three minus one by three integral One minus z square means cos x and z cube is there. Z cube means sine cube x and dz is cos x dx. Dz is cos x dx. So ultimately, what will we get? We get sine cube x cos x cos x will be cancelled. So we we'll get here sine cube x dx. Okay. So it is coming two by three. Take common one third. So it is coming two by three. Then in the bracket we get x sine cube x minus integral sine cube x is uh, already one third taken outside. So let us make it four sine cube x. Then we can apply the formula. So it is coming minus one by four integral four sine cube x. We want to apply formula here. So here we can write three sine x minus sine three x formula. X sine cube x minus one by four, one by four, and it is coming. Okay, into the four sine cube x means what? Three sine as sine three x formula we know. Just apply the sine three x four sine cube x means we can write three sine x minus sine three x. Three sine x minus Sine three x. Okay, instead of this, we can write this. Now let me rub the first part.
okay so it is coming 2 by 3 x sin cube x x sin cube x minus 1 by 4 integral 3 sin x we can write as integral 3 sin x so right here only uh, minus 3 cos x it is coming minus 3 cos x and integral uh, sin 3x means uh, minus uh, we can write this as plus cos 3x by 3 cos 3x by 3 through plus c okay now this only simplification part is left 2 by 3 x sin cube x Instead of sin cube x, we can write here again 3 sin x minus sin 3x. So, right. 3 sin x minus sin 3x. All divided by 4. Because it is only sin cube x. 4 sin cube x is this. So, only sin cube x divided by 4. Plus minus Minus 1 by 4, so minus minus plus 3 by 4. 3 by 4 cos x. And plus minus minus 1 by 12. 1 by 12 cos 3x. Just simplify this. 2 by 3, 3x. 3x sin x by 4 minus minus x by 4 sin 3x x by 4 sin 3x plus 3 by 4 cos x same as before, 3 by 4 cos x minus 1 by 12 cos 3x. Okay, just the calculation part. 3, 3 will be cancelled. 2, 1, 1, 1 by 4 is coming only x by 2. So, we can write x by 2 sin x minus it is coming. Um, 2, 2 is a 4. So, it is coming uh, x by 6. Minus x by 6 sin 3x plus uh, 2, 3, 3 cancel 2 by 4 that is coming half. So it is coming half cos x. Half cos x. Half cos x and plus minus minus um, 2, 6 are 12, 6, 3 is 18. So 1 by 18 cos 3x. You can keep up to this one. x by 2 sin x plus half cos x minus x. Any limiting we can do it. So this is the answer. Okay. So let me rub the wood first. Then I will explain that one. Now let me rub this part. Now the chapter is integration by parts. This chapter is now completed. All sums done. Very few sums may be left that you, you should try.
Okay, now last day, uh, few students, uh, you know, only one or two students we have asked about the logarithm. That is, at first, let us write what is logarithm. Okay. Let, uh, let me clear this logarithm. Logarithm is what? This is nothing but logarithm. That is the inverse of an exponential function. Inverse of an exponential function. Okay. So if B, uh, if we write say, that means log n is equal to, so if we write this is equals to k, okay, when the base is b, okay. So when we will write if and only if b to the power k is equal to n, we can write this as b to the power k is equal to n, okay. Now there are uh, coming with this. Similarly, say if I write here, after before that, uh, let me write this. Um, anti log is what is anti log? Uh, if I write here say uh, log m is equal to x, if log m equals to x then this part m we will write as anti log of x. Anti log of x or we can write this as anti log x. m is the anti log of x. If log m is equal to x then m is the anti log of x. Okay. Now, remember always, there is, there are two types coming with the, your question, how this anti-logarithm will be integrated. That was your question. Let me clear these two parts. So, this is also very important. Now, logarithm, there are, there are two types of logs. Another type is also there we use in chemistry or physics. Uh, but in mathematics, we use these two types. One is uh, common logarithm. Another is natural logarithm. Okay. Common logarithm always we use as base 10. And natural logarithm we use the base as Remember this. Common logarithm we use the base as 10 and natural logarithm we use the base as e. Not c. This is base e. Okay. Now the question is uh, and uh, co common logarithm we write this as log. Say if I write log 5 that means base is 10. And natural logarithm if we write log ln 5 then base we can write as e. Okay, this is the difference. <coughs> now the question is, how this anti-logarithm, how the anti-logarithm will be integrated? That was the, is it integrated? That was the question. So, let me write first again. Now, already I said anti-logarithm, uh, Antilog is what? This is just an exponent. Okay. Antilog is just an exponent. Already written. <coughs> now, logarithm is a scale that changes exponential function, exponential function into a linear function that simplifies calculation only. Okay, now if I write the y is equal to e to the power x, y is equal to x, e to the power x, it will change when, to, it will change to linear function, y is equal to, this is the exponential function we know, so this y is equal to e to the power x, this will change to linear, 
linear when we will take the logarithm to both the sides clear everyone if y is equal to e to the power x this is the exponential function we know we can write this exponential function in the form of linear function when we will take the logarithm to both the sides okay so let us take logarithm to taking logarithm to both the sides taking logarithm to both the sides then what we will get when we get log y is equal to log e to the power x okay or we can write this write log e to the power x is equal to log y that also we can write so log e to the power x base is e here and can we write this e to the power log y according to the logarithm formula e to the power log y is equal to e to the power x can we write yes we can write because we know log n to the best uh, x is equal to a then we can write x to the power a is equal to n according to the logarithm definition log m to the base x is equal to if it is a then x to the power a is equal to m same thing here we can write log e to the power x base e equals to log y by taking logarithm from this exponential function we can write e to the power log y is equal to e to the power x from this now we can write x is equal to log y which is represents which represents a linear function which is a linear function in x and log y okay that only that was our target now taking anti logarithm of x what we will write we can write anti log of x equals to log y anti log of x is equal to log y is what we get the original equation y will we will get the original equation y is equal to e to the power x okay now into integral of e to the power x is what integral e to the power x dx we know that is equals to e to the power x plus c okay when the base is other than e then what we will write the, the, then we can write log y if it is uh, we, have, we have taken here basis as e so if i write log y to the base a then we will write when the base base is a when the base is a then log y to the base a is equal to x okay now taking anti log we will write taking anti log taking anti log anti log we will write anti log of log y to the base a obviously we will get anti log of log means only the this number so this is coming y is equal to a to the power x y is equal to a to the power x now integrating this integrating this what we will get after this this place is not enough i am writing here now integrating this integrating this what we will get integral a to the power x dx is equal to a to the power x log a plus i think now it is clear to you how from if it is given in anti logarithm then how can we integrate this okay the video is becoming very long already it's okay i think now it is clear to you now bye everyone